Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the arrest footage of Travis Hines. Now, if you guys are not familiar with him, he is a longtime frauditor. Basically, quite a few years ago, he was caught with some illegal material on his computer. And since then, he's been pretty much on the run, living the transient lifestyle, and he constantly gets himself in trouble with the law. Most of the time, it has to do with trespassing. And this is exactly what happened here. He was trespassing on a church at night, parking there when he wasn't allowed. And when he got stopped, he wouldn't ID. So he went straight to jail. Without further ado, enjoy the video. I'm here as the deputy sheriff with the authority of the sheriff to investigate this. And our job is to drive around, make sure things are secure and the law's not being broken. Okay? I'm just trying to identify you. I've already told you multiple times. As long as I identify you and you're good, then I'm not. I'm fine. I'm not trying to charge you. I'm not trying to cause any problems. I'm just trying to do my job. So calling? I don't understand why you can't just verify if that's your name or not. All right, what's uh, your partner's name? It doesn't matter. He doesn't have to provide you your name. People need I'm, to provide their name. Okay. Well, People need to you may them. think so, but that's not the law. Well, then yeah, that, that's, that's, it's not our policy, no. bud, but hey, I'm Deputy Kane with the McCrean County Sheriff's Office. It's not our policy that we have to identify you. This is the Kane? But Deputy Kane. Kane, okay. Kane, C-A-I-N. Kane. All right, but, okay. but listen to me for a second, all right, man? What's your first name, Kane? All right, well, it's uh, Jay, but here's Jay, the thing. What's so hard about giving but, first but names? But hey, hey, here's the thing, dude. Just, just can you stop talking for a second and let me talk? Kane and Wilden. Okay, so here's the deal. I don't know if you're from Kentucky. All right. Well, you see my plates. That doesn't mean I haven't seen there. your plates. I just rolled up here. So, but like I said, I don't know if you're from Kentucky or not. I don't know where you're from. You know, I'll but tell you. I was. He's uh, talking. Hey, hey, I'm I talking, bro. You Dude, hey, what? I'm you talking, bro. I asked you. I asked you if you could stop talking so I could talk, and you said you would, and then you keep interrupting well, me. Well, no, I, I'd like to. End, I'd like to. Well, just wait and listen to what he has to say. Just listen to me for a second, bud. All right. So, so in, the, in the state of Kentucky. In the state of Kentucky, churches are private property, right? Private property for churches. Churches are private property, just like any other business. Okay. So, and if you're parked on a if you're char if you're parked on a church parking lot, it's considered trespassing if you don't have permission to be here. All right. Did you okay. guys get called? Do what? Did you guys get called, G? No, we do what's called premise checks. We drive around, make sure because there's a lot of drug activity back here. Okay. Is there? Huh. Yeah, there is. So, we do a lot of premise checks around this area, okay? We see a vehicle that's never been out here before that we haven't seen. So, we get out to identify. And what people don't understand is that people think we have to have probable cause to interact with people. We don't. We have what's no, called reasonable that's suspicion. Fine. You can stop and talk at 1 a.m. So, what the heck? You know, daytime. Do you have your ID with you, though, dude? I'll exchange your IDs with you. Do what? I'll exchange IDs with you, Jay. That's not how this works, Jay bud. Holden. No, don't. He can give your first. Man, can you just name. give us your what ID? You're called, Obviously, so, you're hey. just recording us. You're trying to provoke yeah. us so you can put on YouTube and get some well, cool views by people that comment what on you. Officer, you are a hundred percent right. That is exactly what he's trying to do. So it seems like these Kentucky officers are very familiar with frauditors and especially with for public safety because they reference something else that's happening in Kentucky. And I'm sure that's who they're talking about. And it's good that officers are getting educated on the type of clowns that they'll be dealing with when they encounter a frauditor. That way, they'll know how to handle them and they'll know not to play their games. Okay. Just give me your identification so we can move on. Like, why are you trying to provoke us so you can put us on YouTube? Not, you're making up feelings and forcing about this, and it's more of a No, thing. I've asked no, you numerous times. Discussion. I've asked okay. you over and over and over just to identify this yourself. Hasn't, this hasn't gone to the I don't, I'm not trying to treat you unfairly. No I'm just trying to do my job. I don't want to charge you. This is no longer I have no hard feelings against you. I just want to ID you so we can move on. You're just... Absolutely. I'm not going to see you and argue Holden. with you. What's your first name? What you're doing, buddy, is called disorderly conduct in the state of Kentucky, okay? All right. You go ahead and bring that before a jury, because I'll, I'll fight that. All right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I will say that uh, I was at the Walmart parking lot. ID yourself. And I was... ID yourself. Gee, Weldon, you know my last name. You heard it. And 
All we need to okay, is that your first name? name? Yeah, let's hear your first name. I'd I'm really asking like what your first name is. Yeah, yeah, let's explain. Can you give me your date of birth or social oh, or sure. something to identify you? Let me hear that from you. No, that's not how that works. Okay, what are you... That's not how the law is written. That's not okay. how this works. What if you want to be in this out. state... Just let him slip it? out. Get out of the vehicle. Yeah, okay. Let's get out. <laughs> That's fine, just don't grab anything. What are you getting out of there? Don't be reaching in pockets or bags. Yeah, just watch. I move slowly. I just want to make sure that my car feet. Okay, just explain to me what you're doing. So I know you're not driving. Alright, you get out. Come on. It ain't that hard to move a couple more times. One, two, three, four, five. The <clears throat> registration sticker on this vehicle is on 2021. What's the registration status? called trespassing, dude. We already told you. It's criminal trespassing. Yeah, I mean, he obviously is done with this. Just filming us. Mm. And, you know, he asked me, so what's your name? It's a WK. So what's your name? I said, Joe. <laughs> you know? Uh, we're trying to explain to him that he's trespassing. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, I mean, Joe, the car. I said, no. I said, we do extra patrols around here because this is a high drug area. I said, people come back in here and do drugs, and we see a vehicle that we're not familiar with back here, you know? And I said, dude, you're on the verge of disorder because you're, you're refusing to identify yourself. I mean, you can explain trespassing to this clown a hundred times. He's still not going to get it. The only thing you can do with this guy is just to book him. And luckily, that's exactly what they're about to do. Where's your, is your, is your vehicle registration up to date? Yeah, it should be. Because the sticker's 2021 if you want to put your camera on it. Yeah, I know. I don't need to put my camera on it. I've, I've been paying every oh, year. I, I, just, came through on YouTube. I gotta put it on, uh... I'm just saying, I, I mean, the sticker says 2021, I, I that's pay, why I was asking. I pay on uh, the computer, <laughs> and, uh... Oh, good lord. Where are you going? Okay. Yeah, the weather feels okay so far, I guess. Yeah, I pay, uh, yeah, Have Washington. Have you gotten an ID yet? No, he, he said yeah, his I'm last name was... Yeah, we got a third person? Alright. Yeah, it's uh, a sergeant. What's your name? Sergeant Burrow. Burrow? Okay. So, yeah, here's, we got, we got here's the issue. Name. You're on private property. And there was no calls, right? This is part okay, of a they, they, re they request us to patrol their property okay. to make sure that people aren't loitering. Okay. You're in possession of a motor vehicle in the state of Kentucky. That yep. means you are required to provide okay. identification yeah, no and problem. proof of insurance for the vehicle. So we, we've got to do, do two things. i got to make sure you got a valid driver's license what's, and insurance, what's the, and then you can get out of here. What's what's the uh, criminal charge? Or what's the, uh, am I pulled over for something? Okay. Is this a for driving infraction? You are loitering okay. on private property, well, which I mean, is a there? trespassing issue. Yeah. So, in order for us to allow you to leave, I have to confirm you have a valid license okay. so, so you can drive your car people, people and valid business. insurance. I'm not going to argue with you. You well, can produce no. that information oh, at the or house? you can go to jail for trespassing. Well, it is really simple. It's a courthouse issue. You, uh, you've got to take me before a judge and, and then discuss. Absolutely. I can arrest you and you okay. will go before a judge. 
Yeah, it's I mean, really simple. All you have to do is produce identification. Yeah, yeah. I told my, and my proof name. of insurance, and we'll get you out of here. You did not tell your name. You said your last name was. You confirmed it was the one I gave. But you will not give me your yeah. first name. You will not give me your well, birthday. You will not give me your. So what's, what's I, your, I'm giving you an opportunity. You, yeah, yeah, fine. To produce your driver's license. We got Bashir. And valid proof of insurance. Yeah, okay. So that I can get you out of here. What, what's the driving attraction? I mean, I'm giving it, you the opportunity to produce okay. your driver's well, license. What's, what's your name again? You said Burrow. Sergeant Burrow. If All right, you and the we, first we time. heard my last name's Hines. Okay. So you are in possession of a motor vehicle. Okay. Which requires you to have a valid driver's license. Okay. Yeah, uh, but also you know you can identify. There's more than one way to identify. I'm not going to go around and around. This is, with you. This you is, can either produce it or you can go to jail. Well, this isn't a matter of uh, whether I whether I give you a plastic uh, ID or not. I could tell my name, right? I've asked that. I, yeah, but he's asked yeah, for I've it. Asked, I've asked just for full names for everybody here. <laughs> we don't have to give you. So well, I even I gave you my full name, and you still yeah. ain't being cooperative, bro. So, I mean, it is well, what it is. Because so, he's the original. He's hey. going to be the arrestee. He's so, either you arrestor. identify yourself or you go to jail right he, now. You choose. He's, he's, he's going to be the arrestor. Okay. We ultimately. can identify you by your fingerprints at the jail. Well, or we can identify you based upon okay. your identification that you produce for us. How, how far, it's real simple. How far away is the jail? Gosh, this guy is such a clown. It's like he really wants to get arrested. How far away is the jail? You're about to find out. And as you guys will find out in a subsequent video, the ride to the jail was very long. And here's the thing, he has an ID. All he has to do is show it. They're going to find it anyways when they search you. This guy is really operating on a next level of stupidity. From here, it right, sounds like I'm gonna have a long, I'm gonna have a long I mean, walk. You're going, you're going to jail if we take you <laughs> You're gonna have a long walk, no. I am glad to give you a ride to jail. Back from jail? I mean, what's... No, what that's on you. Uh, how far, because because how far we're giving you the opportunity to produce your identification. How far and if you choose not to do that, then you can go to jail. That, and you can't produce insurance and we're going to tow the vehicle. I could tell, so. tell my name. I just wanted to hear your first name. I mean, I, you guys are... <sighs> You we can tell me we, your name, we have done that. Tell it, please. What's your first name? Oops. Oh, what? I guess you can't. Well, look, you didn't do it. The, wow, you keep there's, lying to me. Hell, oh, let's so, try it's again. A, it's a simple question. What's your first name? It's a simple question. Oh, you're question. not telling me again? Why do you keep it's telling me you'll tell me? You're not telling me. Okay. It, it's, a, it's simple to produce your driver's license, it's, and you're refusing to do so. Well, that's not the, the minimum is telling your name. That's, okay. that's No, not, not in the state of Kentucky. Not when you're in possession of a vehicle sitting in the driver's seat. This is your last opportunity. It's, I'm not going to go around with you. Somebody, last opportunity. I am requesting you, based upon it, the Kentucky law, that to, you produce your driver's license right now or you're going to go to jail. It's, it doesn't, it's not just a driver's license. Right. Right. Stop resisting. Okay. okay, go ahead. Okay. So, I'm going to have to get you out of here. Shouldn't be. We gave you our names. We're telling you what the law is, bud, and you're refusing to identify yourself. Okay. Criminal trespass, third, disorderly conduct, so, okay, and now yeah. we're going to tell your vehicle, okay. so. All right. Yeah, I expect you guys have a good judge that supports this. Where's it being towed? Where's my car being towed? Whoever the on-call tow truck is. Yeah, okay. okay. I don't know. I don't know. It's January, bud. I just came how, back to work today. How, how far away is the jail? Yeah. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to walk back. Walk to the tow company, I guess. Where's I think it's going to poker stick. Who, who's, who can tell me where I'm walking to, where I walk to from the jail? Who, who can tell me where I, I got to go? I guess the jail staff can when they release you. You know, you know what the, the bail is or the bond? I do not. 20 at Brickford at Washington, 23. Man, my mouth is very dry, too. This is going to be alone. 
Long process. William David Lincoln, seven zebra zebra, Sam Frank Frank, zero Sam Boy. You guys are going above and beyond. It would have went a completely different way, man, if you just would have listened to us. You guys don't listen to me. No, you're, you're not listening you're not to us, me bud. You tell me who you guys you're are. not listening to us. I was cooperative I, as hell I with you. I want to be able to hear your names. Yeah, you were. Yeah, and you still wouldn't even you. talk to me, bud. It was, I guess if it was just That's a one-sided conversation, guess, it sounds like, don't it? I guess if it's just you and me. I guess I mean, it's just, just a one-sided like, conversation, dude. Like, I know I what guess, you're doing, man. I want to know I see you on TikTok and YouTube all the time. I know what you're doing, dude. You see... Oh, Travis, you are busted. They know exactly who you are, and more importantly, they know what you are. They know how to deal with you. And you know what's so crazy is that Travis asked the cop what was his first name. He didn't expect him to answer. And even when the cop did answer, it changed nothing. He was still an uncooperative lunatic that has circular conversations. So at some point, you just have to whip out the cuffs, and that's what they did. So they handled this perfectly. They were very professional. They gave him enough time to identify. They saw he wasn't going to. If they waited any longer, I think they would have been wasting the taxpayers' money. So I think they handled it perfectly. I see this stuff all you the time. Dirty cops on, on TikTok. Oh, so you, you think I'm a dirty cop now? No, you, I'm talking oh, okay. to you. I'm say, I just I was saying before. If it was no, just it's just me people and you, don't understand the laws and they think they do. And it's if just, it was just please, me and you, we would have exchanged please, first and last name. And there's, there's no sense even talking to him. He's not intelligent enough to get No, we, we got we to gotta talk to the, the prosecutor now. You, you have the right to remain silent. I recommend that you exercise that right. Yes, no, so I'm tired of hearing you talk. Did we find an ID? Yeah, I just gave it to him. Hey, he's yeah, he's got a fan pack in your front seat. Okay. There's a camera in there, but I don't know if it's on or not. If you want to check, I just opened it. I didn't see those lens on underneath it, but. See from outer space. That way I don't get hit back home. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Making sure they look good. Important. Yeah, is he giving me a call to ring a call or anything? Or nah, he's, he's just... He, he's just... TikTok or YouTube. First with. Amendment auditor. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee you he's down here because of the other shit. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so now that we've seen that, I do want to show you another video that Travis dropped. It's about him having a complete Karen meltdown because the judge wouldn't allow him to bring his iPad in court. Check this out. All right. I think I'm going to ask Judge Jones on February 9th to discipline John Bishop, the security bailiff in the courtroom, for giving me a hard time about using my my tablet. It's it was really annoying. It was really disruptive. He was being more disruptive in that courtroom disciplining me twice about using my tablet quietly he was disrupting the courtroom more giving me a hard time than i was using my tablet and i look to my left i see a lawyer using their ta typing happily away on their their laptop i look straight ahead and i see other lawyers using their laptops typing away 
Why don't you talk to them? All right, what makes the lawyer so special? It was very disruptive because those last few moments before I go before the court, I need to refresh my, my get my head in, in order in the proper uh, way for, for presenting myself before the court. And here I'm getting, I'm in a, I'm getting in a fight with a stupid security guard over using my tablet and disrupting my defense. That, that is a due process violation right there. I don't know how else, I, I, I don't, I, I can't see how you could ignore that and not call it a due process violation. Telling me I can't use my tablet in the courtroom, I can't access my notes. You got to put signs up in the front of the courthouse then with all these extra rules that you add verbally while in the courtroom. This is ridiculous. And I'm going to bring this before Judge Jones because it really angers me because I did miss saying a couple of things because I couldn't refresh myself. I just I just had to sit with my tablet off so I wouldn't get disciplined a third time by by John Bishop. I had my my written, my writing notes, and then and then my my tablet notes. I had a lot more on my tablets, and I was and 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 it was like this. I was just looking at it like this. I wasn't like trying to point it at the court like I was recording anything. Camera's right here. I was just trying to take care of my business it was it was convenient because John Bishop was standing like 10 feet away so it was easy for him to walk over to me and give me a hard time about it twice while he was escorting the inmates <clears throat> easy for him to pick on me about that and that's the trouble with this McCracken sheriff uh, department from the sheriff down to these these bailiffs they're just getting it wrong in all every way the sheriff's getting it wrong with with how uh names are are like a uh a personal information and not a public information thing you're overruled the cops that arrested me <clears throat> clearly they're they're not following uh what the, the 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 courts are establishing i mean when i look at this clown spewing his nonsense in his van there's only one guy that comes to mind. Basically, this guy reminds me of a Fisher-Price chili. He's trying to be a constipational law scholar, but it's just failing miserably. And he's been at it for quite some time. His channel has remained small. He's basically a lol cow. It's like everybody's laughing at him because he's kind of goofy, but he's not in on the joke. He doesn't know he's being laughed at, but he is extremely ridiculous. It's like when he was driving on the highway and all his pots and pans went flying. That was hilarious. As the proper procedure and, and ways of, of, uh, of treating people on private property and private parking lots. And, and then now the bailiff, who's, who's clearly demonstrated uh, an ignorance towards, towards uh, uh, my ability to defend myself by referring to my notes on my tablet. I tried to explain it to him, but there, I mean, the judge was talking at the time. It's not like I was just going to start arguing with the bailiff in the court. I just had to sit there and be quiet and let the bailiff get his way. Sure, yeah, he can apologize afterward because I ran into this bailiff afterward. I got him on audio, which I hope to share. I just, I'm having difficulty getting into uh, any uh, libraries because of Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King closed down Saturdays and Mondays in Mississippi. And I know he, he, closed, he closed his libraries down in California too, but not all of them. I believe uh, I did get into one in California on, a, on his day. Not all of them close, <clears throat> but uh, I'm guessing all of Mississippi libraries close. I'm pretty sure of it. And they close on Saturday too. Which was a surprise. I drove a hundred miles to go to the library on Saturday and they're closed for Martin Luther King Day. 
and then I expect them to be closed on Sunday. That's that's pretty regular. But this this uh, situation with with this this uh, going above and beyond oppression, the oppressionary rules. I mean, it's it's going into oppression. It's it's going beyond fairness. Okay. It's just it's just cruel and unusual behavior that they're pra that they're practicing in McCracken County. Cruel and unusual behavior to prevent you from having an iPad in a courtroom. Travis, I think you're exaggerating a little bit. Even for a frauditor, it's becoming a little bit much. You're becoming a little bit of a drama queen. Cruel and unusual behavior has nothing to do with maintaining the integrity of a courtroom. Gosh, these people are so strange. A year before I was arrested in 2020 at the library, Crystal Johnson was caught stealing over $30,000, skimming bail money, all right? And they're very oppressive in Williston, North Dakota, on, on police enforcement. I was arrested twice for the same crime. I was arrested in the library, and then I go to challenge it uh, with a, a not guilty plea, and they arrest me again on that day and add and, and like add another charge for the same incident at the library. So they use a lot of oppression, and, and then they could turn around and steal from you. On top of that, and of course they took money from me. What did I pay? Like two hundred, two hundred and fifty dollars twice. I paid like two hundred and fifty dollars twice to get bailed out twice for the same crime. I didn't get any of it back. They stole it. And and guess what? Crystal Johnson. Well, she's replaced now. Somebody else gets to skim that bail money, skim my bail money that they take from these false arrests. Which I mean, that case was later dropped. But it starts with this oppression. So they create a boundary with the oppression, pushing us further and further into an oppressed state. And that creates a nice cushion for them to, to engage in their illegal behaviors and activities. It's, it's really, really disturbing and annoying. Disturbing and annoying. It sounds like he just described every single frauditor ever. Now, don't get me wrong. There is corruption in the government to some extent. There is, for example, that mayor that decided to cut the salary in half of whoever would replace her in an effort to dissuade anybody from running. And now that is not right. And she was called out on social media, completely blasted. Now, I'm not too familiar with the whole story. But that's an example of real corruption wrongdoing. What frauditors are uncovering is not real. They're just complete clowns. They're not investigative journalists. They're good for nothing pretty much besides giving us entertainment. And talking about entertainment, there's actually a body cam footage of this guy's ride to the jail and it is about 40 minutes. So I didn't wanna include it in this video because it would be way too long, but I will be posting it in the next couple of days and it is hilarious. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here.